this month's episode of Run on the Way. I dive some of the shipwrecks of Abu Nuhas, one of my favorite dive spots in the Red Sea. Also, I took out some friends on a tour around Hogada. We enjoy some local food and browse around the markets. I am Ronnie. Thanks for tuning in my new series, Run on the Way. I am on the way to Abu Nuhas, where four shipwrecks crashed into a reef within a few hundred meters. If you love wrecks, then you should definitely check it out. The first one I show you is Grisula K, which met her fate when she hit the reef at Abu Nuhas on 31st August 1981, while en route to Jeddah in Saudi Arabia, carrying a cargo of tiles. I like this wreck because it has cracks and holes everywhere so that she can see the light rays passing through making it simply beautiful for filming. Let's continue further towards the loading area where the light rays look pretty awesome. You can enter here from pretty much every direction because of big openings. Most of the tiles are still here and as we continue towards the front we are in very shallow water, about 3 to 5 meters. The outside is mostly overgrown and many fish have made the frital their new home. You are likely to encounter schools of glassfish, antias fish, lionfish, Rupus and Napoleon fish. I would say that this rack is definitely more spectacular from the inside, but you tell me. The next shipwreck is dived at the most and therefore quite famous. Janus D. You can see the big D on her funnel and she lies in between 4 to 24 meters. The ship crashed into the reef on April 83 and sank with her cargo of timber. The stern is still pretty intact, unlike the midship area which is virtually all broken up. Coming to the front is honestly nothing special, but nicely overgrown with corals, like this big table coral. All right, let's head back to the stern and we dive inside towards the engine room. We start from the upper decks and work our way down. Again some awesome light playing and sometimes it's full of small fish. The engine room is quite big so that you can easily move around and see lots of instruments, pipes and machinery. I have been here several times and it's easy to find. You can also enter through an opening next to the funnel from where the light is coming in. Let's move on to the last shipwreck for this episode. 
It has been a long time ago I dived it, but I still remember how impressed I was back then. Carnatic is a beauty. Built in Britain in 1862, it was a steamship with sails, which operated both as passenger and cargo vessel. On the night of the 12th September 1869, in strong currents she ran aground at Sharp Abu Nuhas. She was carrying a cargo of cotton, mail, bottles of wine and soda water, as well as 40,000 pound worth of gold. Indeed, it is believed that some of the gold was never recovered. The wreck can be found laying at a depth between 27 and 16 meters. Like everywhere in the Red Sea, sometimes you can see some big stuff, like at this day, a feather tail ray chilling on the bottom next to the wreck. Once you are at the back of the ship, you realize its age because of its square windows. On the outside is not much left, only bars and the hull, which are completely covered in hard and soft corals. Similar to Genus D, the midsection is all broken up, but marine life has made it their new home. Now you have seen three out of four shipwrecks that are laying at Abu Nuhas. What is your favorite? Maybe at some other episode I will show you the fourth one, which is Kimon M. By night Hogada comes alive, and some friends and I went on a little tour around the city. Let's have some sugar cane. We was interested to see how the guys made our drinks. So they invited us to even squeeze it out by ourselves. The delicious drink was a welcome refreshment and a good start for our tour. My friends Andre and Sina came for a week to Hogada to do some diving and it was a welcome change for them to see the life outside the hotel. Along the countless shops and restaurants, I decided to take them to the market. By minibus, we went through Hogada to El Daha market. It was busy as usual and we spent some time browsing around. The countless vendors offer pretty much everything from vegetables and fruits, to livestock, clothes and hardware. This is where many locals do their grocery shopping, and only a few tourists come here. Too bad, because I think it looks fantastic, and is definitely an experience you should not miss while visiting Hogada. The two enjoyed the little tour, which was quite a contrast to their hotel and beach town. Greetings to you and we see us again soon. That was it for this episode. I hope you tune in for the next one, where we go into the desert on a quad bike tour. And of course more fantastic underwater shots of the Red Sea. I am Ronnie and I see you next time at Run on the Way. Party over here, party over there. If it's on the planet, make a run and party over there. But never should you dare, think you don't care. Come on, man, loves it all from the sea to the air. No hesitating, no debating, ain't no reason to be waiting. Elevating, got to celebrate, ain't nobody hating. Never stating, motivating, never really irritating. Everything is still a lame. That's what I really say. Run away. Hey, hey.